What's going on? How are you guys? Welcome back to Best Burger Reviews, where we rate the best burger at a particular establishment. Today we are at 77 Burger, which is on 77 Pearl Street, which is on Pearl Street and something in the financial district. We're all the way downtown, trapped in this godforsaken city. And we have a burger, which was pretty reasonably priced, but this is a, uh, this is like a legitimate, basically only burger place. So the menu is mostly burgers and then they have like a few hot dogs, but you know, a lot of these burger places aren't really like burger places, you know, you catch my drift. So crispy, very hot. I think they're super crispy. They have a good amount of salt. What's going on, man? I'm sorry. Excuse me, gentlemen. If you cannot pass judgment on me, please. Can you find me on a homeless guy that does not drink a few drugs for a couple of dollars for food? Your shoes are kind of nice. You don't look homeless. Well, that's because I, I keep myself clean. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. God bless yeah, yeah, yeah. you. And I love two brothers to heroin and my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, man. Hey. Hey, enjoy the rest of your night, man. Get some sleep, all right? By the way, that's a nice camera. Old thank you. Yeah, thank you, bro. How much you give it? I give him ten bucks. Yeah. I don't give I don't give home I don't give homeless people a lot of money. I mean maybe I interact with a homeless guy once every three months. So I give him five or ten bucks, you know. If it happened every day I wouldn't be giving him ten bucks. Anyway. These are like very well executed basic fries. Like th these came fresh, you know, we waited for the order. They gave it to us piping hot out the fryer. So they're salty, they're crispy. They got good flavor, seven five. Nothing special about them. I don't taste anything off like freezer wise. So I, I think they were made fresh. Now the burger, I hate red onion. Red onion to me, I don't know whoever decided to put this stuff on burger. It's the most disgusting thing in the world. Same with a huge slice of unseasoned tomato, you know? It just doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good. You need to salt it. You need to cut it thinner. You need to do all that stuff. So, you know, people think they can just open a burger place, buy some buns from a bakery that aren't fresh, buy some regular grain-fed beef and just standard cheddar cheese and have a good burger, which is probably not going to be. If I had to guess, maybe this is in the mid to low sixes, but we'll see. bun is so dry, so dry, meat is, meat is dry too, kind of mediocre, not juicy at all, don't even taste the cheese, 5-7, yeah, I, I just don't see this, I don't see this being any higher. The burgers we tasted earlier today had a much higher quality of meat. And, you know, when I complain about paying $20, $25 for a burger, at least I'm rating it in, you know, the high sixes, low sevens. So, you know, the bun is fresh in those. The meat's fresh somewhat. It's decent. But this, you could tell, they, they kind of skimped on the ingredient quality. That's where they're charging $10, $11. So, and although $10, $11 is a lot for a burger, not in New York. So... Unfortunately, 5.7, 77 burger. Fries are good and crisp. It's not going to be any better with the lettuce and red onion on it. I, I really think um, that smash burger style is the best way to go with lower quality ingredients. When you put the sauce on it, like the French dressing style burger sauce, when you have the two deep caramelized crispy uh, patties that makes up for the lack of quality in the meat, and they put a little bit of extra cheese on it. So, you know, they put less meat, but it tastes a lot better. So. It makes a lot of sense why, you know, these thicker burgers taste way worse than the smash burgers. So that's the review, guys, for 77 Burger 5.7. Definitely not really worth stopping by. But if you do want a high-quality burger, you can go to frankeastrangemeat.com, try our custom best burger blend, as well as a variety of high-quality cheeses to pair with your burger. frankeastrangemeat.com. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for the next review. And if you guys think, I'm, and if you guys think I don't give homeless people money, the last time I did it, 
there's this guy I, that I, when I drive down to work every morning, sometimes he's there. And it's funny because, you know, the guy like forces people t like to wash their windshield. Like the guy, he's like a homeless guy. He's got a uh, Windex bottle and he's got like a squeegee and he goes up to people's cars in the middle of the traffic. So they can't, he stands in front of the car so they can't move. They can't drive. And he starts squeegeeing the car. I thought it was hilarious. I, I think I gave the guy 10 to 20 bucks once. But what was funny was I'm pretty sure the guy was gay. So he was like, he said it in like a kind of like feminine voice. I forgot what the hell he said. It was like, thanks, handsome or something. I thought it, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. But, you know, it's tough down here. I can't imagine what these guys do. Well, that's not good. You're really uh, making me lose it. <laughs>